The speech was billed as America's environmental leadership. It might as well have been called Make America Clean Again. We want the cleanest air. We want crystal clean water. Donald Trump boasted of his administration's accomplishments cleaning up toxic sites, America's top ranking in access to clean drinking water, and declining air pollution. We're doing a very tough job, and not everybody knows it. It's so damaging that there almost aren't words uh, to capture um, how it will play out. But for a president who has denied his own scientist claims about climate change, critics say his words ring hollow. I would say that is comical if his policies weren't so dangerous. Uh, I've often said that his policies, both around air pollution and water pollution, should actually come with a label, uh, almost like cigarettes, that says that this policy is dangerous for your health. From pulling out of the Paris Climate Accord, to weakening vehicle emission rules, to eliminating dozens of regulations meant to protect the environment, Ali says Trump is taking the country backwards. They have not moved forward on one piece of legislation that has actually helped to protect people's lives. He says even Trump's own pronouncements about clean air are undercut by his support for the coal industry. We're gonna have clean coal, really clean coal. Today's speech, however, may have been more about the political climate. Polls show Trump ranks far behind Democrats on environmental issues. We have only one America. We have only one planet. But while he talked about air and water quality, there was little mention of reducing emissions to address rising global temperatures, the crux of the climate change crisis. The president often does this apples and oranges types of thing just to confuse folks. In fact, while he talked a lot about how a strong economy is good for the environment, President Trump never once mentioned climate change in his speech. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Washington. So who were Trump's environmental advisors in the room with him today? Well, one is Andrew Wheeler. He's the current head of the Environmental Protection Agency. He's also a lawyer who once lobbied on behalf of a coal company. The other, the Secretary of the U.S. Interior, David Burhart, also a lawyer, and he used to act for the Independent Petroleum Association of America.